Hi, and welcome back to the channel. The article that I'm going to discuss today is Read a View in Mozilla Firefox. Why? Let's have a look. If we open up particular websites, I've got two preloaded here just to save some time. One is NewYorkTimes.com and the other is PC Mag, also a site that I go to often to bring up basic reviews on different products or different hardware that I might be interested in. If you have a look at these pages, the first thing that will strike you is all the pop-ups that keep coming up. You've got advertisements all over the page, on the left, on the right, at the bottom, on the top, in between the articles. You have other links to other articles on that particular page. Same thing as New York Times here. Trying to follow articles can be really confusing. Let's just choose any particular one, just as an example. All right, on this you can somewhat follow the article, but have a look at this. You've got advertisements coming up on the left, and as you go through, you've got them in the middle of the page. Quite often on, the, on these sites, you'll have them covering the top here and at the bottom. It's not exactly a pleasurable view in the particular page. Mozilla Firefox, which is the browser I use by default, is by far the best browser for using ReadingView. The other browsers do support it to some extent, but none of them are quite as advanced as what Mozilla Firefox is. When a page supports ReadingView, there's nothing you can do to change a page for ReadingView or not. The browser or the page has to be designed in such a way that the browser will recognize it and convert it to ReadingView. What you see is this little icon right here on the, on the address bar, and it says Toggle Reading View. You also have the option of pressing your F9 key on your keyboard. So have a look at the page right as it is right now. If we press F9, all the garbage is gone. Same thing as this New York Times here. Let's just choose any random article that's on the side. This one isn't too bad, but you still get a whole bunch of other stuff in here. So we'll press F9 there as well, and we're in Reading View. You'll also notice when you're in Reading View, this icon at the top changes to blue, so that it's highlighted, so you'll know that you're in Reading View. It's definitely a lot easier to go through the article in this particular view. Now, on the left-hand side, you'll see the options. This Close Reader View, this Type Controls. When you open this up, you can change your fonts between sans serif and serif or serif, depending on how you want to pronounce it. You also have the option to change the font size, either larger or smaller, depending on your own eyesight and the screen that you're using. This is an option that I really like, which changes the basically the content width. If you have a look here, you've got a lot of white space on the left and on the right here. If you increase the, space, the content width, that white space all but disappears as you increase the size. You also have the option of increasing your line height or decreasing it depending on what you want to view or how you want to view it. You have the light option, which is the default. You can do a dark background or a sepia, which is really easy for reading. So this certainly makes it a lot easier. So if we look at sepia right now, it's considerably easier to read the article without all the nonsense that they want to put on the page with it. You can also have the page read to you. By all means, have a look at how that works. Sometimes pages don't sound very good because it cannot pronounce some of the words or the links or stuff that's in the article. So that one gets kind of confusing. But if your eyesight is poor, this is certainly a really handy thing to have. Save to Pocket is another feature of Mozilla Firefox, which you can certainly do as well to view the page later on. As you can see, this certainly does make things easier for you to read. I hope this has been helpful to you. By all means, if it has, please take a second, just subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below, and let me know what else you, you would like to see on this channel. Thanks for watching, folks. Take care, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.